Hey guys, and welcome to the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth Part 14 playthrough. Uh, this is where we explore the, the kind of other side. We find this character called a Gi who kind of takes us to explain the origins of these Gi characters who are also trapped in this cavern. Uh, we also get a little bit more of, the, of Zack's backstory. You know, it's very, very quick. Which I really hope we dive more into Zack's backstory a lot more. Uh, which it's been very interesting knowing to see where that's going to go. Because that's like kind of a whole new stuff they've, I think they've done for this game with all the Zack stuff. Uh, we kind of come to a realization about something about one of the characters in Zack's timeline. And then, you know, we also have probably our most difficult fights with the Gi. You know, being some of the hardest enemies we've ever fought. And, you know, we kind of go in there, you know, face them, face them off. And we kind of learn about something else. But guys, thank you for watching. Please, please go watch. If you want to go see this live, go go check out the Twitch. Go check out the Twitch account. And guys, let's get started with this Final Fantasy VII Rebirth playthrough. Oh! oh no! Oh my god! No, no way! Oh! It's here we go! Oh, look at these fights! Alrighty guys, welcome back to the Final Fantasy 7 Part 14 stream, where we will be streaming Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. Uh, very excited to jump into this, uh, we're following like this Gi guy, we don't know much about him, we don't know if he's a good guy or a bad guy, but he's about to show us something, I don't know what he's about to show us, so let's just jump into this, give a little description before the video started, so guys, let's play some Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. Alrighty then. I guess we were following him now. All right, let's do that. Ugh. Can anyone <laughs> explain to me why we're even taking this detour? <laughs> anyone? Because some of us are on a mission to secure the material we need to, you know, save our homeland. It's all about material, Yuffie. I don't know. This E dude's too nice to freak me out. He may act nice, but who knows what he's planning? Yeah, he is a gee. So we know we can't really trust him. But who knows? Damn, this is like he's taking us to like hell or something. That's what it seems like right now. Alrighty then, Gi. The home of the Gi lies beyond. Oh, so we're going to his homeland. Alright. Now let us begin our journey. Not so fast. What's in it for us? Unless it's materia, you can count me out. <laughs> How strange you should mention materia. My people are also in search of it. Oh, that interests Yuki. Yep. She's in. Man, these games, the cinematics are really good, like really beautiful. The best I've seen in a game, like in all time. I know I've played Resident Evil, but these are just on a different level, man. He's I've on a different I level. Could, I'll be back <laughs> soon. I promise. Alright, not a key. I still I still want to call him Red 13. I kind the Red 13 voice I'm still used to. Like the serious Red 13. Not that. <laughs> but damn, oh my god. Look how beautiful this is. Look how beautiful this is. Man. Look at how good that looks. Uh, I'm better than Earl. Maybe try <laughs> swaying with the rocking of the boat? I wanna move less, not more. <laughs> Didn't seem to mind when you jumped aboard. <laughs> yeah, it's all for materia. Only because he mentioned materia. <laughs> yeah. Be quiet. The planet is listening. And what's wrong with that? Yeah. Anything that well, reaches said. the planet's ears. In due time, reaches those of the Cetra. Oh, are those the ancestors? Unfortunately, the Cetra are not a tolerant people. Ooh. Excuse me, am I intolerant too? I'm Cetra. <laughs> oh, hopefully it doesn't attack her. <laughs> you are indeed one of them, by lineage alone. <laughs> 
not of their history. That has been lost to time. Ooh. Their history? Consider your ignorance a blessing. We're about to learn about the, the ancient's history. Past is fraught with horror and sorrow. How they really like died, like maybe how they really died out. Oh, where are we? Oh, sector five. We going back to Zach so now? There, I am, on the there we go. Zach. Out, watching everything go dark. Thinking this is it. This is how it ends. Yeah, I thought he was dead. Only it isn't. Oh. Suddenly, I am. That's from remake. Tugs at me so hard, it feels like it's tearing my soul right out of my body. Oh. Oh, was he transported to a different timeline? Maybe. Is that what happened? Hmm. Next thing is that, I know, is that where Bix is? Back in the orphanage. But nobody can tell me who found me or how I got there. It's a miracle. It sounds like what happened to me. Whole freaking army unloading on my position. Oh uh, yeah. Who saw at the end of the last game? Also, uh, oh, this is a practice core. Supposed to die, right? Destiny intervened. Changes Zach's destiny. Damn. But then, the wind starts blowing. Yep, destiny changes fate. One minute, I'm outnumbered. And the next, I'm alone. None of it makes any sense. <laughs> I somehow managed to beat the odds and wake up here, alone. Damn. Why in the hell did fate pick me? Because you still have a purpose. You still Can't have think a purpose. That way. <laughs> Can't not think that way. Their luck runs out, but mine doesn't. I'm yeah, well, the only one who gets a pass. Destiny wanted you to live, Biggs. Destiny has a reason for you to survive. Even if none of the others made just it. Me. What am I supposed to do? Yeah, this is you the know? ultimate timeline, I think. You know, because yeah. Barrett and Tifa are dead. I get it. Oh, Aerith, yeah, Aerith's up there, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because I think Aerith might still be alive in this timeline, I don't know. Sure, but why? I'll explain on the way. Alright. Let's move along. Back in the back in the slums of Sector 7. Uh, great to be back. Great to be playing back with Zack again, too. How's Cloud holding up? Mako Poisoning's done a real number on him. Doubt he's in for a speedy recovery either. But hey, hope springs eternal. Right. <laughs> if he does recover, you can bet your ass he'll act like it was nothing. <laughs> Shrug it off and say he's There's been no through ten times that shit. That's Are cloud. talking about the same cloud? Come oh. on, the trains are guys down. desperate to prove himself. Okay, himself. that answered the question like right there. To. Everyone so. knows he's a bona fide badass. <sighs> So Biggs hey, is definitely from another timeline. Why you try picking up some work as a merc? A Zack of all trades. The top of why? Because yeah. one's not enough. I'll think why about it. All right, so that just confirmed that Biggs is not from this timeline. That he was transported to Zack's universe, maybe. Yeah. So this is a different timeline, different chain of events that's going on. That's 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 just what makes sense right now, right? Yeah, it has to. Yes. The destruction oh, of Sector avalanche. 7 was orchestrated by Shinra themselves. So Avalanche still kicking around murderers get away with it. in uh, Midgar. People of Midgar fight back against our corporate oppressors by joining Avalanche. Seek mm -hmm. us out at the log off Petal Lane. Wow, that's bold. <laughs> These guys are setting a trap for themselves. Shinra will just roll in and round them all up. Doubt public security will even bother going through the motions. Easier <laughs> just to shoot and skip the paperwork. Then anyone who goes is it's a trap. An idiot, I know. But idiots are what we need right now. 
<laughs> yeah, this uh, timeline's lacking a lot of heroes right now. Since we know most of them are now dead. Alright, I hope this uh, this lasts for a while. It's not just a quick like five minutes like it was last time. Alright, Biggs, where are we going? Hey, you ever wondered about your purpose in life? What you're doing here? Sure, from time to time. <laughs> or all the time. Would never have guessed. Didn't used to, but things changed. Went through a lot after I joined Shinra, like a lot. Yeah. I bet. I ask, because ever since I woke up, I've been wondering about what to do with all this time I've been given. Hmm. Please don't cut the scene right here. I want to know more about this ultimate timeline in Zack. I want to know, like, a lot more. Hey, Biggs. You said before I ought to try picking up some work as a merc. <laughs> like yeah. Cloud. Because one's not enough. So who's the one? <laughs> Cloud. Yeah. I didn't tell you? Must not have wanted the competition. When exactly did you meet Cloud? Yeah. The day before we hit Reactor 1. So... Uh, how long ago was that again? <laughs> Weird. My internal <laughs> clock's busted. So, this yeah, Biggs is definitely from too. another universe. What's that about, anyway? <laughs> Good question. Or could Zack be in the right... I don't know, because I don't know. This has to be the ultimate timeline, right? It has to be. It's the only thing that makes sense. I think I prefer being number two or three. It suits me much better. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I hope we get some answers, some uh, questions answered right now. About if this is the ultimate timeline, who's out of place, Zach or Biggs? So how come I was the one who got saved? Because someone needs you. You and your can-do attitude. And who might that be? Uh, you ever brought you back, I guess? And assuming there was someone. Who could it have been? That's a good question. Alright. Let's get back to Cloud. Maybe. I think Aerith's there too. Alright. It's just up ahead. Keep your eyes peeled. There's Copy. a bike. There is a bike right there. So. This might be a trap. There's the Avalanche posters. Nobody, huh? Not a soul. Well, at least Shinra was a no-show too, right? Uh -oh. Who's there? <laughs> oh, it's her. Kiri. Hmm? Huh. Right? New recruit? Her eyes are a different color, it looks like. As if I'd ever join Avalanche. I just came <laughs> to see what kind of morons would fall for your dumbass propaganda, that's all. But I should have known. Nobody could be that stupid. <laughs> anyway, I'm out, losers. She wants to join. Ah, uh, look. I told you I wasn't cut out for a leading role. And here I thought I might have been saved for a reason. Some higher purpose. <laughs> it's like Avalanche doesn't really exist anymore. Sorry for wasting your time. Harris mom. Damn, this timeline is sad. Zack needs to become the hero in this timeline. Biggs. Save everyone. He has to become the hero. It's up to us to find our own purpose. Yes, it is. I mean, who says it's gotta be one way? Everyone's sitting back, acting like the world's doomed. There is a rift the in the sky. I don't know what that means. We're not powerless. It feels like these two timelines are like intersecting with each other, honestly. So long as we don't lose sight of what's important. <sighs> you know, what matters most of all when the going gets tough. I don't know, hopes, dreams, maybe? <laughs> Something like that. So long as we've got those. And hold on tight and never let <laughs> go. Like this? Like, like your life depends on it. <laughs> the world's lucky to have you. Hmm. It's a start. Anyway, I gotta run. I'll be sure to pay a visit to Cloud when I get the chance. 
See ya. Oh, I want that confrontation so bad. Think about what so, I said. I think Biggs is the one in the wrong timeline. I think that's what's happening. Guess I should probably head home too. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we're not ending it. We're not ending ending it yet. There's gotta be something else that happens. Right? There's gotta be something else. I don't know, something bad happened here yet? Doesn't look like it. Alright, back to Eris house. Go in. I'm back. <laughs> Welcome home. Welcome home. Guess who I just saw? Biggs. Really? Did he say anything about Daddy or Tifa? Aww. Aww. <laughs> Zach, would you mind checking on Aerith for me? Sure. Is Aerith still alive or not? I don't know. We're all headed for the same place. You'll see your Daddy and Tifa again. I feel like they're dead though. Soon? Or they're now one of Hojo's experiments Soon in this enough, timeline. Darlene. Soon enough. Okay, where are we going? Oh dang, it's dying, right? Alright, going back to Eris' room. Cloud's still asleep too. It's me. The wind. That was you, wasn't it? Hmm. Hello in there. I still feel like she's dead. That she's not. She, or she's in a coma. Because her material did fall out of her like a headband. Oh. What? What the? Is she seeing the ultimate arrived. timeline too? Oh, this place looks scary. And that was our Zaka little mini episode. <laughs> uh, I swear, it's only been like 20 minutes of Zack and the ultimate timeline, guys. I want to see so much more though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this place doesn't look scary at all. Hmm? Oh, bye-bye. You're Welcome sinking back in the hell? To the village of the Gee. Oh. This guy seems a bit evil, in my opinion. Alright. Aha, loot boxes. Let's get that. Welcome to our domain, children of the planet. Okay. <laughs> Y'all hear that just now? Our flesh is gone, yet oh. our spirits are condemned to linger. Outsiders such as we are unwelcome, forever denied the planet's embrace. I feel for you. Can only imagine how tough that's been. Okay. My this ain't creepy at all. Well within these effigies. I beseech you, lend them your ears. Long has it been since they have had an audience. Okay. This is a really big cave, you know, system down here. Just gonna say. They're not bound to the planet, and so she rejects them. Oh. Because you have to come from the life stream to return to it. They're like demons Which or whatever? Which means these dudes can't die, right? <laughs> They're invincible! I'm not sure that's something to celebrate. <laughs> Being stuck as spirits with no hope of release sounds like a fate worse than death. As if yeah. you know anything about dying. Uh, I mean, are you even really alive? 
<laughs> Another stuck spirit, perhaps? <laughs> shall not rest till the materia is ours. Uh oh. You and me both. So let's go up the creepy stairway. Oh, what is going to be up here that we'll have to fight? That doesn't look good. Oh no. Yep.
That's the way it's gonna be, huh? Dude. We did it guys, we finally did it. Let us move forward now. Oh, those guys are tough. It was our fate to be spurred by the planet forevermore. Thus did we resolve to forge our own path to salvation. With materia, you mean? We long to lay hands on the materia of peace. Okay. to the point we need to get to. How many? So I guess we gotta fight these guys again. Please don't make me start over from the beginning. Oh, thank God.
understand? the next one. Man, these guys are hard and creepy, guys. They are hard and creepy. So an ultimate materia? Where is it? You gotta tell me! I feel like we're almost there. Trap the spirits anymore. I can see that. Alrighty then. I feel like we're getting into a boss fight. Uh oh. Oh yeah, this is definitely a boss fight arena. I was getting to him. Job, but I gotta sink in. I get to that guy. I think we probably don't want to overstay our welcome here. It's hard to feel at ease around folks whose only desire is death. Yeah. <laughs> and if the planet won't let them have it, well, who's to say they won't let the planet have it? <laughs> Save me! Sure. Don't you think someone responsible like me ought to hang on to that materia? So it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. <laughs> I think we shouldn't be getting involved at all, Lassie. Yeah, I, I just want to get out of this place. <laughs> what do you think he wants us to do for him? Uh oh. Cloud, this is not the time. Uh oh. Oh no. Black materia. Black materia? Oh no. 
No, again, not your stupid mock up poison. We're having a Sephiroth battle right now. No, no. All right, come on, Cloud, snap out Whatever of it. That materia is. We can't let them have it. No matter how much they want it. Don't know how far we can let this go. But for now, we play along. Oh, God. There's free right there. All right, we're doing this again. God, that's a lot of them. There's four of them?
Really? Really? These mother truckers right here are the most annoying enemies I have fought so far. Ho oh, ho 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 ho. I'm gonna kill them. I want them so bad. Last guy right here, guys. Holy shit, we just beat them. We just beat them. We just beat them. We just beat them. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 
Oh my god. We actually passed it, so Barrett was who we needed on the team. I feel like we're about to have a boss fight right now, so... Alright, let's go. Did we miss anything over here? Nope. Alrighty then, let's head up. <sighs> Take down this Those not final key. The life stream can never join its flow. One cannot return to that from which one did not arise. Okay. And so our souls sought refuge here. Yet idleness brought no solace. Our days, a penance imposed by the planet for the sin of our existence. And now, our only wish is to be freed from this prison. To be granted true release. Okay, what do you want, Gee? From the planet, we claim the greatest of materials. We have to fight this guy now. Sacred treasure, and imbued it with our desire for freedom. After an eternity, the materia began to stir, okay. and thus did we rejoice, knowing that salvation was within our grasp. We rejoiced, so convinced were we. It sounds like the narrator release. for the first ever Final Fantasy VII uh, remake trailer. Honestly, I just noticed that. Please, I do not want to fight this guy. Some Cetra trespassed upon our land oh. and stole the treasure so that would grant those us saying the Cetra and all the bad guys, the ancestors. Therefore, we ask that you retrieve it, the black materia, key to our oblivion. Okay. Please, it alone can liberate us from this endless dream. The Gi cannot rest until our sacred treasure has been restored. So to they us. want the black materia so they can lift the curse upon them, basically. Moreover, in redressing the crime of her ancestors, the Cetra may help us to let go our ancient grudge. Oh, this is affecting Aerith a lot. Where is it? It is said. The orb oh God! The, the temple. Cetra worship. The temple we've seen in the trailers. Oh God! A place of Cetra worship or temple? Yep. Yeah. You know what? I have an idea. At least I think I do. Oh! Give me Hollow One if I regard you with suspicion. <laughs> Now hold on there. <laughs> I'm friend to one and all, thanks to my crystal ball. No matter your need, I have the right read. It's <laughs> <laughs> strange, but you can trust him. Yeah, we trust really? him. He's on our team. <gasps> Alas, it appears we have been discovered. What the heck is happening? Where are we now? Oh, the, they left the cave? Oh, the next morning, damn. Uh, I guess we're back? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We need to get moving. Yeah, we right. do. Nanaki, you okay? I'll make you proud, Dad. Ah. Uh, Just wait. Oh yeah, we're back here. How do we get back over here? All right, let's get out of this cave now. It's good to see you again. What? You're still in here? Allow me to escort you to fellow Bugenhagen. 
Please. All right. This way. Lead the way, man. Lead the way. Salvation or whatever. But I think we should help them. Though. More like something with the potential to wreak some serious havoc. I still think we should help these guys. Like they just want to be released from what they, what they, where, where they are right now. Did no one else sense him? You're the resident expert. If you say Sephiroth was there, I'll leave. Expert. Discussing its existence. If we can get to a Shinra terminal, we should be able to find it again. Terminal, huh? They said any up here? I think so. But I bet old Boogie will know for sure. Alright, let's keep on moving. Let's get out of that cave of death. You might have returned to the planet. Oh, come on. We both know you didn't need to worry about me. <laughs> After all, I am the son of Seto the Watcher. <laughs> Forgive me. But if I recall correctly, Shinra should have set up a transmission terminal here in Cosmo Canyon. So, where is it? Oh. oh what did become of that thing? Ah, yes. Now I remember. I was so fascinated by the technology it employed, uh, I did some tinkering. Some tinkering, I say, though it was quite a lot. But oh. now it serves a decidedly more practical purpose. You've got to be kidding me! <laughs> uh, well, do you know about a Setra temple? A temple, you say? If you mean a place where they worshipped gods, none exist. The Setra never engaged in such practices. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. I feel like that's wrong. Maybe the god is So why would there be a Setra temple if they didn't worship culture. anything? If instead it is a site of importance to the Setra that you seek, texts do speak of one, and of the pains taken to conceal it. Oh. So it does exist? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Perhaps, though I know not where it is. Huh? And even should you find it, I would urge caution. They were a star-crossed people. To follow in their footsteps is to court tragedy. Mm, true, there is not. There's only like one left anyway. So. May it outweigh the risks. You must bring every one of your senses to bear. For then no secret will elude you, <laughs> however well hidden. And when you return home, I hope you'll share your discoveries with me. <laughs> Fellow Bugenhagen! Uh -oh. What is it? I'm a little busy here. Another man in a black robe has come. What should we do? Uh-oh. Well now, a friend of yours? Where'd you see him? Oh, uh, the village gate. We should check it out. Yeah. All right, let's go see who this stranger is. That's what I'm wondering, like, who is this stranger? All right, let's go find out who this stranger in the black robe. It could be the guy that we saw in that city. Um, yeah, I can't remember the name of the city. It's uh, like Shinra City where they fired the cannon. Or Shinra said, oh, we're gonna hunt you down and all that, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but yeah, let's head, head see who this guy is. That's all I want, I wanna kinda know. I think we're almost there, yep. 180 meters. All 
right, we were just there. This is where we did like the light show uh, with the lanterns. Okay, we gotta get down here. We gotta jump over this. Yep, there we go. Alright then. We should almost be at the gates. This way, okay. Where is this guy? Who the heck is this? Oh, this is a, just a mysterious guy. Is this man okay? No, he is not. <laughs> I'll be rather weak. I'm not sure why though. I know Mako poisoning when I see it, and this isn't it. Nibelheim. That sounds familiar. Nibelheim. Nibelheim ain't that. That's our home. Grew up. Yeah. Ah, oh, of course. Nibelheim has a terminal. I bet my whiskers on it. <laughs> it uh had a terminal. Ooh. Cloud, remember when you told Gein attack back there? That I might be weird, but you can trust me. Well, even if you were lying, I'm going to prove to you that you can trust me. That I'm <laughs> on your side. It's not that. Hmm. We should go. Hey! Yeah, we should. You're talking about heading to Nibelheim from here? We'll take a plane. <laughs> There's no roads you can take far as I know. Maybe we can't go by land. Mm-hmm. But by sky. By air. Yep. Meaning we'll need smoke. Right then. Back to the airstrip we go. Alright guys, that's where we're going to end the stream here today. A very, very good chapter. A very, very difficult chapter as well, playing this one. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, and yeah, thanks for watching. Hey guys, we just got finished playing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth Part Fourteen. Uh, th this was an Im immensely hard chapter, you know, fighting all the Gi bosses, you know, trying to figure out how to beat them. Uh, we had to, to try different strategies. That was insanely difficult. Uh, you know, learning how that, that they, they want to be free, you know, they want to be free of this black material, you know, they want this black material so they can finally rest. And, you know, there's a part of me that trusts them, but I really didn't really trust them, you know, because they do seem kind of evil in a way, but I think they are good. And I think they just want to be released from the prison they're in. And talking about all the Zack stuff that happened, you know, us finally finding out that uh, Biggs, the Biggs that is in Zack's universe, is actually from our main timeline. I think that's basically what that said. Biggs is from our timeline, and now he's trapped in Zack's because Destiny had something completely different laid out for him. Destiny, basically, the whispers changed his destiny. His destiny changed his destiny, <laughs> if that makes sense. Uh, which, that was a really cool realization. And, you know, we got... Uh, some more stuff with Zack, which is really cool to see. And, you know, we also see the moment where Aerith, I think, is seeing into Zack's timeline. You know, it's still kind of confusing, like, about that, you know, how Aerith knows that. You know, and then, the other reason, like, does Aerith, you know, love Cloud, or does she still love Zack? You know, that's the whole thing, you know, because I think she's trying to move on from Zack, Zack but it's really hard for her, because she's probably seeing into this alternate timeline. Which I want to explore a lot more in that alternate timeline. I want to see how Zack and Cloud are connected. You know, are they going to bring Zack in to fight Sephiroth with him? Like, is that going to be a thing? Uh, but overall, I think we got a lot, a lot of lore, a lot of hard battles in here as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave your comments down below. Like the video as well. And subscribe to the channel. Go check out all our other content on the, on the channel. And I'll see you next time. Peace.